or why did you so this is the new amplifier I've been working on and uh, as I shown you before it's a professional power amplifier cabinet as you can see so two channels knobs are there and nothing else uh, this one is for left channel and for right channel so mono amplifier kit uh, is there inside this is a power switch and uh, these are the LEDs for on stereo and mono indicator and this is uh, dancing LED lights for left channel and right channel and this is a to say vent for air intake and this is for left channel right channel so uh, it's not uh, like uh, exact uh, professional amplifier uh, I've made it in uh, my way as per my need so on this side I have this 500 watt mono amplifier uh, 5 transistor on this side and 5 on the other side at uh, the bottom side so that's the one and this is a bridge mono amplifier it has total 8 uh, transistors uh, same like this 5200 and uh, 1943 NPN and uh, PNP transistors and this is the uh, uh, transformer or supply 30030 uh, 6 ampere I guess for this kit and this is the rectifier it has for 50 volt and uh, 4700 MFD capacitors and this is the bridge rectifier diode and this is the 12 volt rectifier kit for the onboard speaker protection and for the fans one is there and another one is here this one blows ear to the kit and uh, this one uh, blows the air out so this is kind of exhaust fan well and on this side this is the 500 watt kit and this is the transformer for that is a 45 0 45 volt transformer and 10 ampere and it has a 12 0 supply here so for the 45 volt this is the bridge rectifier diode you can see I have connected a small heatsink and mounted to the chassis so yeah from there this is the capacitors here as you said before it's 100 volt and 10,000 MFT capacitors and uh, from there to the kit right here so for this thing I have used 2.5 mm electrical wire for all the connections for power supply and the speaker output you can see and for this thing I've used 1.5 mm electrical wire same for the power supply and, and the speaker output you can see uh, right there so this is the 12 volt uh, rectifier kit for the two fans only this is one and that is another one and also for the LEDs uh, right here so now you can see the fans are like quite a bit small because I bought this fan so 120 mm I guess uh, much more bigger than that it's uh, nicely fit in there but the problem is this one has 0.38 ampere so this thing uh, speed is huge and it makes a lot of noise so I I installed it but then I unboxed it and uh, installed the old fan small one 4 inch uh, I don't need to worry about the heat problem because as you can see the cabinet is uh, so big I mean this side is like 16 inch I guess and there is a lot of space uh, inside the cabinet and already two fans are there for each kit so there wouldn't be any heating issues and for the speaker connections you can see I have used this uh, 
banana plug socket this is for right channel and this one is for left channel and this is the input the RC input uh, this one is connected and another one is here it's not connected yet so I'm not going to use this uh, this bigger connector what are they called uh, I don't know because I already have this uh, nice RCA cable it's very nice and thick as I showed it before so I'm not gonna use this one and also I have I have some kind of space problem as you can see it's uh, almost the size of this table here so if I use this uh, socket then I need uh, like a, four or five inch jack uh, with a wear, thicker wear so uh, that that is another kind of problem so I didn't use that so that's it that's my new power amplifier and another thing I did is I have connected two electrical wires you can see two wires are coming up from there because I have only one switch here I did this because uh, this is going to be work as a subwoofer amplifier for my AV receivers. Those are two are there. This one is going to be connected with one receiver and this one will be connected with another receiver. Uh, so now if I just use one electrical wire so I turn on uh, this machine and the both the transformer and the kit will be work, will be turned on though the one uh, of them will be working but still the both would be turned on so i didn't want that that's why i connected two electrical wires and you can see two pair of wires are there for each uh, kit so this one is going to connect it to my primary receiver and this one is going to be connected with the uh, Yamaha receiver. So I just need to, you can see this is one plug and this is another one. So I can turn on uh, whatever I like. So let me just show you. This is the one and let me turn this on. And you can see the blue light is on. And you can see the blue light is on and the side fans are on. So this thing is working. And we'll turn this off. And that's off. And let's turn this on. And now you can see the green light is working now and this side and so working so this gear is working now so it's gonna work like that I made it in my way this was kind of improvised thing that's the front panel and uh, not so great but not that bad either so that's it guys uh, now it's uh, a late night so later I'm gonna do a Santis video of this thing. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.